Yo, what's up, Lennon Magician? Today, we're going to talk about my MLV workflow. So as you can see, I double clicked on the SD card and access this folder. And there are these MLV files that we cannot, the computer can't read. And so we put them in the MLV app drop. And that's how it looks, very handsome and manly. Yeah, and on the right side, you see me pushing one, two, three buttons. and a copy and select all and paste yeah and this window here i basically never open i just do it to show you those all of those beautiful output options of which i uh, only ever use um, cdng uncompressed And then I just export it and that's all there is to it. Yeah, and as we are waiting for the conversion, um, I can already hear many of you cry. Jay, but the file sizes are too big. Yeah, but come on, you can get SSDs, it's 2024, for cheaper than spinning drives. Yeah, and later I'm gonna talk about as to why you want the big size, big size, you the big size, you want the big size. Yeah, big size. And now I'm opening Resolve, create a new project and go to the media tab it's called and select these, um, what are they now? They are the, the CDNG files, those ones we converted in the MLV app, MLV, MLV app. And there they are. And now you can you you can edit them. Oh, sorry, bonus tip. Yeah, if you're on a Mac, uh, output color space you need to select rec 709a you have to because mac os has some under the hood flavor enhancer going on and that will that's just gonna fool you into thinking your image is something that it's not yeah and now i can basically um, inspect my footage and edit it and grade it yeah and remember when i said you need a big file size why because it allows you to kind of bend the colors any any way you want and you cannot do that with progress or no oh. 